In late 2018, ESO's gravity instrument observed flares of infrared radiation coming from the accretion disk around Sag A star. These flares came from clumps of gas swirling around at about 30% of the speed of light on a circular orbit just outside the event horizon. They indicate that Sag A star is spinning with a full rotation every 11 and a half minutes. This makes the 4 million solar mass Sag A star a supermassive Kerr black hole. This new information also enabled calculating the distance from Sag A star's center to its event horizon at around 10 million kilometers, or 15 times the radius of our Sun, and the distance to the photon sphere at around 17 million kilometers. To illustrate how a black hole might look, we'll build Sag A star. Here we are viewing it from the equatorial plane, and the object is rotating in on the left and out on the right. Its center is dark out to the event horizon. This thin ring around the black hole, just outside the event horizon, represents the cross section of Sag A star's ergosphere with a shell of orbiting light. What we'd see is the light that leaks out in our direction. The observed flares indicate that Sag A star has the remnants of an accretion disk that is no longer feeding the black hole on a regular basis. The massive amount of light rays emitted from the disk's top face travel up and over the black hole, and light rays emitted from the disk's bottom face travel down and under the black hole. This combination gives us the full image of how the black hole would actually look.